today's video after seeing that b-roll montage we're talking about using the movo vxr 10 pro model with our smartphone now recently i did a video where i used this with the panasonic gh5 and i did mention that i would be doing a video in the near future in regards to how this kind of microphone coming in under 50 dollars would function with many smartphones so today is that day and currently we are rolling as you guys can kind of see we have that mic right on top of the camera with that small rig and this is the first time that you guys are probably hearing how this is going to be sounding we are talking directly into that iphone using filmic pro which is definitely going to give me more advantage in regards to audio and video but for many of you guys out there that are going to be using your iphone as long as we are using and i'm now flipping back to our main camera as long as we are using the wire microphone to smartphone, you are going to be A-OK -okay using our adapter for iPhones. Now, I don't have an Android, but I know probably a similar setup. Make sure that we are using that wire as if you don't, it's not going to give the correct signal. So I've done it in the past where I actually used the one that's for a camera, not a smartphone. And really, you're just not going to get the correct power that you need. So let's make sure we use the correct wire. But now we are back with that audio coming out of that shotgun mic. Now, what I do find, if I get really close, how does it sound? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The other thing I want to actually mention is I'm down here in my basement, and this is not going to be the best environment for audio, but it'll give you guys an understanding of how this shotgun mic would perform in this particular environment. Now, let's go ahead. Interested to see what you guys think now back with the big boy microphone you guys kind of got to hear the vxr 10 pro for the first time but from what you guys are hearing so far this is the real deal directly into camera and the only other thing i can think of is maybe even turning that microphone a little bit more in that direction so now that we've spent some time in the studio, I think we might as well spend some more time outside, giving you guys an understanding of how this kind of setup would function with a smartphone out in the wild. So a little bit of a different scenery, but we're back here in the woods, give you guys an understanding of kind of what it would sound like. You know, a lot of you guys probably like to go hiking or for walks. So we're here in this little wooded area behind my house. We do have the dead cat on here and we have the foam muff or the foam. So we are giving a really nice chance at kind of defeating or getting rid of a lot of that background noise. Also shotgun mics, remember guys, they are picking up things that are in front of it, not behind it. It will a little bit, but nothing crazy. What's up bud? We'll bring it over here. You got an acorn? It's dirty. It's dirty? Oh, let me see it. Ah, oh, go show it to the camera. What is it? What is that? Tell the camera. It's a... What is it? An acorn. Yeah, it's pretty dirty. No. Okay, so that's a really good understanding of how it would function. And George is giving you a little bit of an understanding of the audio situation here for a little bit of a behind the scenes glance and how this actually looks. This is kind of the look and sound kind of setup that you guys are seeing here. We've got the Movo here with a smart rig setup back here, kind of mounted. Camera is upside down or phone is hanging there. Also got a little indie filter. And uh, this should give you guys a glance at kind of the audio setup and even kind of the distance that you would see between myself and the mic. I do have the sunroof open, so here in a minute, when we go a little bit faster, I'll most likely close it. Going about 40 miles an hour here. About 50. And I guess at this point, all windows down, me talking directly to camera. Is it even picking me up or is it just too over the top? I'm not really talking too crazy loud. I'm gonna go ahead and put up passenger so we have driver's side is down and we have sunroof and we're gonna put up the driver's side here oh gosh traffic 
traffic at 1.30 in the afternoon. You gotta be kidding me, man. Welcome to DC. I swear, this is really gonna be the final test, but the thing I'm probably most impressed by with this microphone is when I get really tight on it. And I'm interested to see what you guys think as well. Like to the point where, could it be a podcasting mic? I mean, right across the street from me right now, just some massive semis. Uh, it's kind of like a loading dock. It's pretty windy outside. I'm talking directly into this microphone. I'm inches away from it. But the real question is, could this serve the purpose as a podcasting microphone for someone that literally just wanted to use their iPhone and this microphone and maybe you didn't actually want to be featured in the video so you were really just using this to record audio or if you wanted maybe you've got an old iPhone that you would be using and this one would just be used for audio but I don't know you guys tell me this could be a horrible idea but it's really just to find out what the versatility is of this microphone particularly with smartphones Sorry for that ridiculous in my mouth conversation. All right, and back into the studio we go because now it's time to give you guys my overall opinion on how I think this $49.95 kind of audio setup would work with any kind of smartphone. Now, some of the pros that are gonna be nice in regards to this is I did find if I was nice and close on it, it got really good audio. Now, of course, the further that I stepped back, the audio got a little bit more kind of shaky or not as usable, but that's considering that I'm comparing this $49.95 option going straight into a smartphone versus a roughly like $400 setup with the Zoom box and the NTG One from Rode. So that being said, $49.95, I think is gonna be a great option for many of you guys, especially considering if you wanna get nice and tight on it, you're gonna get some incredible audio. And then for most of us, as long as we're not vlogging way out here and we're more kind of in this range with that microphone pointed down at us, which is another little kind of pro tip, let's make sure if we can to have it angled down a little bit. I find that when I am filming a lot of times, this cord ends up actually pulling the mic up. So I kinda of like to angle it down on the small rig setup, really so that shotgun mic is pointed down at me when I'm more in the vlog mode. So there's a little pro tip in regards to that. Other things that are going to be really nice, of course, it goes directly into the iPhone and is going to do the same for Android. Another thing that you guys need to remember, let's always make sure to bring our smartphone cords in regards to filming with any smartphone. If you don't have it, you're not going to have any luck with this particular setup. So let's remember that. Let's go ahead and move into some of the cons of this particular setup. And I really only want to focus on one, and that particularly is just going to be audio levels. Now, you guys watch the video, and a lot of times I put down in the bottom left corner how much gain I was giving in post-production. I felt the need to give it some gain in post really because the video started out with a nice crisp audio, and we finally made our way to the Movo audio. You definitely could see a significant jump. That's why I added a little bit of gain, really so that when there was that transition, there still had a little bit of oomph in regards to how high you had to turn your volume up, whether it be on your smartphone, however you're consuming it, or on your computer. Now, so what is my kind of overall solution for this? I do think that if I were to use this setup more frequently, I would just kind of have a couple rules and that would be making sure I don't go too far in regards to distance between the microphone and myself. I think this is a money angle right here. The further we go out, obviously we're giving a little bit more wiggle room in regards to kind of the audio making its way elsewhere. So the tighter we can be on that microphone, the better. Other things that are going to be a little bit of a con are just going to be in regards to the microphone itself. We do have the ability to listen to our audio, but I want everyone to know that's more for playback. That's not for real time kind of hearing what's going on. So that is a little bit of a con, but it's still nice to not have to unplug your phone. Instead, you could have your headset in there, hit play, and you're going to hear the audio through here. So a huge little like bonus that they're giving in this new model. But my overall kind of take on this setup, $49.95, like I said, I can use it for my iPhone or my smartphone, but I tend to use it for my GH5, but I've been extremely happy with it and it definitely is a step above their old model, the VXR10, not the Pro. This is gonna be the Pro, it's just their original one. And I wanna say that one's $39.95. 
but this one coming in at $49.95, couple of little goodies. It's got a box it comes with, and it comes with a few cables. But you guys be the determining factor of what you thought in regards to this particular audio and the setup. And for that last little send you off, 10987654321 going right into the Movo with the iPhone 8. Nothing special here, guys, but I'd love to hear your comments in the comment section below of what you thought of this particular video. And if you like the videos I keep creating on this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next product tutorial video. I don't know, got several things coming down the pipeline and also there's almost 3,000 of you guys and I think when that happens, I really look forward to doing a giveaway and probably with some of this Movo stuff, but don't tell anybody. All right, I gotta go. Comment in the comment section below if this audio was good or if you hate when I do this. I can understand that it's really distracting to see my mouth but I really want to give you guys an understanding of how this microphone would function. All right, comment in the comment section below. I'm out. That's a wrap, baby. Baby, baby. Boom.